Chow Down Chow or Random Gaming, depending on what you're watching. I think I think when I played Fortnite so much, I yeah. I just got like the game was fun. When I first started playing it, I started playing it when it actually like two three months after it came out. Yeah. And I used to play a lot of solos back then, like while I was in college. I hooked that's when I bought an Ethernet cord, hooked it up to my computer, and I was just playing almost every day. And it was super fun, honestly. I I played with a couple of my engineering friends. Gradually, I started playing with you guys as well. Like, yeah. I think what made the game a lot more fun or kept the continued interest was the fact that I was playing with friends. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I feel like the game itself seems a little bit repetitive to me. And people yeah. will argue that, like, oh, you know, they're putting on new content always, Bro. you know, and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, that's true and all. But you play a game long enough, like either you get very sick and tired of it if they're not updating it in ways that you thought would be fun or exciting, or yeah. it, like you know, like a lot. Of, one of some of the complaints, complaints I've seen in the Fortnite community was always, "Oh, the developers aren't listening." And at a certain point, I was just like, you know what? Like, I need to drop this game because you should. I I used to enjoy playing a lot of RPG, like a lot of like indie games, a lot of stuff that, you know, I found fun. Even if I couldn't play with friends that often, yeah. you know, I was like, you know, it's a solo player experience. This, yeah, like a story game. Enjoy, yeah, yeah, I get to enjoy a variety of games instead of just sticking to one. Yeah. And so, I mean, since I dropped it, I've been playing a bunch of different kind of games, roguelikes. Um, I've been playing COD. I've been, like, I play COD with, like, my cousins and my brothers. That's just, like, my, like, family game now. Yeah. Um, you guys want to play it, too, like, Sure. all means i've been trying apex. to get you guys to get on no i'm down to play apex i just don't know um actually yeah, no, i'm down to play apex it's just our yeah. timings are so different yeah no it's fine so, we can make it work i'm a master apex player i i, haven't like, pre- I got real addicted to apex like <laughs> junior year in uh college i remember I really good yeah. i remember i'm like more like level 150 my caustic <laughs> has like thousands of kills <laughs> well, I think Apex is a fun game too, and I played it for a little bit. But at the time, I just enjoyed Fortnite so much more that it just kind of lost my interest. Nah, nah, Fortnite's not fun. It was always yeah. too too difficult. Like once it got super popular, it became like way too hard for me to have yeah. that sense of joy. For I just it, it, yeah, it's it's not know? casual anymore. It's Literally, not, you yeah. can go to a public match, and like there are kids and. Shout out to the thirteen year olds and sixteen year olds like making that esports grind. Like if they want to yeah, like sure. spend hours every day practicing their skills and playing the game, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. But so many like so many of the younger fan base of Fortnite does that. That they'll spend hours in like creative or they'll be practicing. And so at a at, at a certain point the game's average skill level increase. Yeah. And I don't remember when. It was probably towards the end of season one. Yeah. That, yeah, like, somewhere like that. Yeah, yeah, sorry, end of chapter one, like season eight and shit. Like people just like got good all of a sudden. Yeah, like super And like good. I took a hiatus. I took a hiatus for probably like maybe a couple months and I got back into the game. And like I thought I was a decent player back when I started playing. Like I spent some time like playing scrims, you know, playing with some of the pro players. Um, now I wasn't a pro myself, but I did get to play games with them on their scrims and stuff. So mm-hmm. like I thought I was doing well enough that I won a couple of games of those. But I get back in and I'm just like getting shit on. And I'm like, for me, it's like, holy hell, like, how, yeah, exactly. how can I enjoy it? How can I enjoy this game? Like, do I have to put, like, I, I put, like, I started trying to put in hours to get better at the game, but then I just realized, like, man, it's like, it's just not worth you, it. Yeah, you can't have fun in the game that you keep losing at. Yeah. It's just like, true for anything, right? Exactly. I was playing COD the other day, and let me tell you, right now, I am not very good at COD. Like, I can say that with a fact. I love playing yeah. games, and some games I'm very good at. COD is just not one of those games right now. Yeah. One, my computer is not the best right now. So, like, I get frame skips, or sometimes I might have some input lags. So, like, for me, it's like, okay, like, I, I, I'm basically trying the best with what I got. But man, yeah. I have not completed a single moment of that game. I'm playing with, like, cousins and, fr- like, like, my brothers. And we just, like, shit around the whole time. I know. It's such a... And, like, when we played Fortnite, too, like, honestly, like, I didn't care if we won or lost. Like, I would... I would like scream. Cared. Yeah. No, no, I would scream. <laughs> but, like, that's just the kind of person I am. I think a yeah. game is a lot more enjoyable when you have, like, these dynamic or, like, when you have a lot more of these, Emotions. like... Emotions. Yeah, I guess, that yeah. Like, when you... Like, I think, like, if you're playing games stoically or, like, expressionless-wise, you know, like... 
or like you die and you're like all right that's fine let's just move on to the next one like that's fine and all but like it, i don't know for me it just seems like i i always enjoyed game a lot uh, i enjoyed playing games with friends um when i was a bit a lot more expressive yeah and I think they'd enjoyed it too. I think like if you're on the other end of a, if you're on the under other end of a call of a friend screaming at you, that is true. Because you didn't put down a campfire, or you <laughs> didn't stick the res, or you just That's decided true. to run away like a coward, like, Dude. like, yeah, it's shitty getting screamed at. But man, I, yeah, I, I'll tell you right now, I'm if I'm on the other end hearing that, I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> I know. Congratulations, you've made it through the video. Now, go subscribe to all the links down below, comment, and hit that like button, and I will see you all in the next one.